Hello, BookTube. Cheers. Boy, it's cold out here. So I have a little office book room off the porch that I use mostly in the summer and the fall. Um, it gets a little cold in the wintertime. It was, uh, we have plenty of snow outside, uh, plenty of ice. Uh, temperature just pops up above freezing every once in a while, so we're getting getting some ice, and that can be dangerous. But but it is pretty, uh, pretty day. Um, but I thought I'd come and do a little bit of a wrap up to the year, and then tell you a little bit about what I have planned for 2022. Um, 2021 was uh, a rather ill-defined year for me. It just never seemed to to coalesce into anything much. I mean, it was a good year for the most part, um, but uh, of course we all know the state of the world, so I won't dwell on it. You get plenty of that. So I thought I'd show you what I got for Christmas. I have these Edwin, I had these Edmund Wilson volumes for the 50s and the 60s, and I've been wanting to complete the set. So my wife got me the 20s, which is the first volume, the 30s, Sorry about the glare. Second volume. And the 40s. The third volume. And like I say, I have the, the 50s and 60s to round out the set. Glad to have them. Um, as you can tell, I've already started reading them. F. Scott, F. F. Scott Fitzgerald has already made an appearance. And uh, as has uh, World War One and the 1918 pandemic. So it does get a mention does get a discussion um, so there is that um, let's see what else um, I did do some decent reading I'm not the type that goes into big numbers and all these other things I um, I'm more interested to talk to you about what I read so um, some of the stand out I reread the hero with a thousand faces by Joseph Campbell um, my family and other animals by uh, Gerald Durrell. Hyperion was a high point. I was encouraged in that, and we had a big buddy read, but I was encouraged in that by um, Noah uh, at, at Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse, and I'm glad he, he talked me into it. It was a wonderful, wonderful read. Um, let's see. I just looked through some Divine Comedy, Inferno. Um, I read the Mendelbaum translation, uh, Dante Alighieri, obviously, and I did that under the encouragement of Tom at L.A. Books. Wonderful channel. For Sag Along, I read Null Saga. Um, let me see what else we have here. There's, there's lots of stuff here. Uh, but I'm trying to, so for Patrick O'Brien, I read The Meridius Command, uh, which I loved. Um, I read, um, let's see... Uh, but, uh, see anything else I want to read? Oh, Samuel A. Morrison, one of his uh, his uh, naval uh, United States naval operations uh, histories. I read the uh, the Rising Sun in the Pacific, 1931 to April 1942. Great book. Uh, let's see, reread the Great Gatsby. I'm just going through the list here. What? Uh, uh, Among the Gently Mad by Nicholas Basmanes, the fellow who does. Uh, all, uh, if, if you're if you're a bibliophile, and a lot of us are, he's he's a good one. Uh, let's see, anything else stand out? Um, no, that that that'll be about. Oh, and I read another one of the Samuel Elliott Morrison's, The Battle of the Atlantic, thirty-nine to forty-three. So so that was fun. And I read plenty of other stuff uh, of lesser note or whatever. So what about 2022? So the big thing I'm doing in 2022, I'm try I try to limit my projects. Um, I always do sag along, and that's in the late spring usually. And um, I always do that. I have since the very beginning. But this year, starting right off in January, I'm doing um, in, is the Future History Project with um, our fearless leader, Sean D. Stanfast, another channel. And um, we're reading the Future History of Isaac Asimov, which is the, I robot, uh, the robot stories, the empire stories, and the foundation stories. And this makes this vast canvas of the future. 
to start with, we're doing a lot of short stories, um, just because that's the way the landscape worked out. We're trying to read them internally chronological, not when they were written. So for that, a lot of them will come with this uh, Isaac Asimov to complete robot. So very happy to be doing that. Um, for my birthday not too long ago, my wife got me th the first three of the Sharp novels by Bernard Cornwell. Richard Sharp is a rifleman in uh, under Wellington, so mostly in the Peninsula War, but the first few take place in India. So I'm going to be rereading these. Anybody wants to jump along with me, let me know. Um, but I'm really looking forward to these. I haven't read these in ages, and I used to really like them, and I, I like the TV show with Sean Bean. Another thing I'm going to be doing is uh, get to the fifth volume, and I do one or two of these every year. I've got these beautiful folio of these, too. Um, Patrick O'Brien's Aubrey Matterin novels. And this one is Desolation Island. I'm hoping, obviously, you can jump along, get a hold of me, and we'll, we'll read them together, any of them. Um, but uh, I'm hoping Steve Donahue, he's, he's read them many times. I'm, I'm hoping he jumps in on them with me. He's done that in the past. A new series I'm going to start. <clears throat> and I think, actually, I did hear about this from Steve Donahue. I've been trying to collect copies. I like to do that before I start in a series as much as I can. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes not so much. But this is Alan first, and I want to read these. This is the, the first in the series. And I got a bunch of them. I'm not perfect with all of them, but I've got these take place in uh, the European theater, and they're around the time of uh, uh, the Nazis coming to power and all that. And, and it's supposed to be really good. If you've read them, let me know. I have not read them, so uh, th that'll be a new project for me. Then history, you know, um, I probably keep reading the Samuel Elliott Morrison volumes. I have quite a few of them, but I have some gaps in the set that I need to fill. And uh, so for history, that's something I'll be doing. And I'll also be doing, um, uh, this is Clay Blair. Um, this is his uh, Silent Victory, a story of the sub, uh, United States Submarine Service in the war against Japan. And I have his other one, um, which is a follow-up to this. About the same size. This thing's a beast, but it'll, it'll be a fun read. Uh, his other one's on Hitler's U-boat. So I hope to do those both this year. Uh, I'm fascinated by the whole story, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So... Quite a bit going on this year, what without burying myself in commitments. So, future history projects, sag along, always, always, we're going to be priorities. Um, reading the Bernard Cordwell Sharp is sort of a new project. Moving on to volume five of the Patrick O'Brien, um, it's sort of a continued project. Again, I hope Steve Donahue jumps on board. Um, and I hope he comes out to visit a few times this year. Um, he was here not too long ago. We love having him and Frida being out. Um, weather's always an issue, um, although it's not that far to go pick him up. So uh, so we will see what he says about Patrick O'Brien. He loves Patrick O'Brien, so it's probably not going to be a very difficult sell. So there are... Um, other things I've been piling up, collecting, I have been uh, picking up quite a few volumes, or this is only part of it, uh, with Arctic and Antarctic and mountain climbing type themes to do something different. And uh, other than that, we're going to take it uh, as it comes this year, because that seems to be the strategy that works for me right now. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all had good holidays. Yeah, I got the rest of the Arctic books holding up the camera, so I can't show them to you. Um, and I hope you have a new year, uh, good new year and that uh, you have plenty of projects ready to go. Thank you, BookTube.